Warrior, welcome. First of all, before I even start, I want to thank all of you for joining, for volunteering, for donating, for listening, for sharing these videos. I have just walked in from the mean streets of New York City, and I do mean, mean. But you know what? I am here to say, as a New Yorker, when you are out and about all day long and uh, walking to and fro, it seems like business as usual. And so I know a lot's going on in this city, but I just want to share with you, the city is vibrant, the city is crowded, the city is alive. I hear every different kind of language on the streets, which I love. Lots of tourists, especially, you know, the second half of August, a lot of people are, are traveling here. And it just, for a moment, seems like the old New York, so I'm thoroughly enjoying it. But I wanted to uh, jump right on with you and talk a little bit about this Matthew Perry ketamine death and also the charging of five different individuals in his death. Now, here's what I have to, I don't really have a lot to say about that, except unfortunately, Matthew Perry died last October, ketamine, overdose, poisoning, whatever we're calling it. And obviously a drug addict. He admitted to being a drug addict. He was sober, not sober, had a lot of problems. If by any chance there was a friend's reunion show on, which I did watch. And I thought, wow, he's not saying anything. And he's kind of sitting there. Obviously he still has problems, correct? But the point of this, what I'm telling you about is because every day at the Warriors, we deal with and work with uh, drug trafficking, victims, survivors, criminals, monsters, fentanyl pouring over our open borders. And there's been so much attention in the last two days in particular since these five individuals were arrested. And I was thinking if we could just put some of this attention, I know it's Matthew Perry, I know it's friends, I know it's low hanging fruit, I know it's what everybody can grab onto, but you know what? I think the American people, I think we are much, much smarter. And it's a changing world. It is a changing world in just the last year, in my opinion. And I think we'd like to hear about some different stories. I wish the media and online platforms would talk more about the poisonings um, the drugs coming over the border, what's happening in our communities, and the focus on arresting those individuals causing those deaths, which are plentiful, escalating and out of control every single day, not only in our major cities, but across the United States. Why well, fentanyl is currently claiming about 300 individuals every day in America, and many of those being teens. So if we could have some of this focus that I'm hearing relentlessly, and I don't really know the purpose of it, to be honest with you. Five people were uh, arrested, being being held, including his longtime assistant, a couple of doctors, uh, a woman, the Hollywood drug dealer, ketamine queen. Okay, who cares? I mean, unfortunately, Matthew Perry died, but there are so many overdoses every day. There are so many drug traffickers out there. There are so many people being affected. People's names you'll never hear. People dying, you'll never hear their names. Children. Why aren't we putting the focus on that? Using, you know, this information as PSAs to intervene and warn others and just educate about. This is something I can't figure out. And I'm no lawyer. I'm, I'm certainly not, you know, uh, law enforcement. But these five individuals, I don't think this is going to go anywhere. I think it's just a lot of noise to create to create some clicks and likes and things of that nature. I'm sure they have great lawyers and they will not, you know, they'll get off in some way or fashion. But I just want everybody to think about the horrors that you never hear about and we need to hear about. So as we are going back to school, which started this week in different states, and as we in New York and other places traditionally start after Labor Day, something that I think needs to be hand in hand is not only back to school, but back to school along with fentanyl awareness and teaching. And that has to be for every age, age appropriate. And when I say that, I say in some way, fashion, form, you know, beginning in first grade. And that is simply something, remember with kids, you don't give young kids too much information, but something like if you see something strange, you don't touch it. You know, just little tidbits 
to get them used to uh, this kind of language because we have to admit it is a different world we live in today. And yes, I'm going to have to scare you and shock you perhaps sometimes because that's the environment we live in. And I'd rather have children that are alive, teens that are aware and alive than dead children. Plenty of stories about fentanyl, just touching the tip of a pencil, a couple of little granules, think of salt, and that could kill a child. We have stories like that, that children who have been on mats in a nursery school, and because the fentanyl was underneath the floorboards, these people were also trafficking drugs here in New York, by the way, um, children died and got very sick. We also know one pill kills. I'm telling you all of this because Wednesday, August 21st is Fentanyl Awareness Day. It is a coming together of society, of every town, city, and rural area across America, along with enforcement educational facilities, community facilities, the one day that we can all come together, we need to talk about this. Going back to school needs to walk hand in hand with fentanyl awareness here in New York City. In Times Square, we are going to be have a takedown in Times Square from 12 to 2 p.m. If you're in the area, everybody is welcome to join. We're going to be having a, a big billboard with the faces, those angels, their parents bravely talking about Every day I'm inundated with forever 16, forever 17, forever 13 of these children who have tragically passed away. And not from an overdose, I want to say, from an intentional poisoning is the way I look at it. Because illicit fentanyl is a poison, right? Fentanyl used in its correct, you know, by doctors and administered for pain relief in a hospital is appropriate, right? Under medical supervision, but not this cheap chemical, whatever they're putting in, and there's no stopping. So while we have all this press, I couldn't open my phone yesterday and today. Uh, I was out running around all day. I was getting press alerts about this with Matthew Perry, that with Matthew Perry. Yes, we do indeed feel bad that he has passed away. But at the same time, what about all those that have passed away that don't get any press? Nobody's talking about. Think about their family members. Think about the poor children who have nobody, foster care, youth homes, looking for them, looking out for them who have passed away. We don't hear about them. So perhaps, perhaps warriors out there, this is where the focus needs to be. I certainly think so. And I want you to join me. Again, Fentanyl Awareness Day is coming up. It is Wednesday, August 21st. Major cities are having events, Los Angeles, Denver, all over. You can look up, go to the DEA website. I'll be posting things uh, beginning tomorrow. I already have some things up on Lynn's Warriors on our Twitter and our Facebook. I'm going to be loading it with information over this weekend and I want you to participate. And if your town or city has nothing, start a little something. And if you don't want to start something, how about just talking to your children and your community? Just your immediate circle will help us because we do know the ages for fentanyl and the poisonings are getting younger and younger. I will also throw into the mix, the ages for trafficking are getting younger and younger. Anything you read online is pretty much outdated. The ages for children viewing hardcore, monstrous porn, younger and younger. So we're talking now like ages 10, 11, where traditionally you'll read, oh, 14, 15, 16, doesn't hold. It's now 10, 11, and we know it's getting younger and younger. So is it going to go down to zero? Newborns? Probably. It's probably already lower. We just don't know about it. But I want everybody to get it on board for this one initiative. Come together. Our hashtag at the Warriors is community creates change. We need to do this one step at a time, one house at a time, one community at a time. I am here to cheer you on and help you. Lynnswarriors.org. Now, come on. You got to talk to your kids. You got to open their eyes because they are learning learning, learning on their devices. So why don't you be that educator? Why don't you be that leader? Fentanyl awareness, DEA.gov. I'll have a lot of resources in the body of this video, but just know it starts with open and honest communication, talking about it, because indeed we want to protect and save our children from harm and certainly from potential death. So join us. And remember each and every day, go out and be a warrior.